Welcome back, you guys. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Know For Sure podcast with me, Megan Brooks, and my best friend. And me, the queen oh, of Jesus England. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the queen of Atlanta. So is everybody, that is not Atlanta. That is not Atlanta. That is not Atlanta, baby. We're in Cobb County. That, that is not Atlanta. Atlanta. Kennesaw. That is not Atlanta. Girl, I'm I from her. Dallas, Texas. I love Amber. I love she her. She texts me like, I'm about to follow her. I love her so I much. I love her. And y'all, like, if y'all know, if y'all you, get to know me. I do not. She don't fuck, fuck with, with hip hop. I don't fuck with hip hop music like yeah, that. Like yeah. I'm not like a. No, I, that's not the right thing. I do fuck with hip hop music, but I'm not a current like today's generation of hip hop. Yeah, like, Megan's not about to be blasting future, little baby and little baby and she's yeah. gonna be blasting Yeba. I'm Yeba. I'm Kendrick. I'm Cole. <laughs> I'm Jay Z. Kanye. I'm Kanye all day. So if y'all want to come for Kanye, you listen. This is not the podcast for you because I love. Okay, sweetie. You put your foot in this. You like it? <laughs> Can y'all hear her golfing like that? Okay, so I am obsessed with being like the idea of being a bartender, and I love making little drinks. So every episode, if if B likes a drink, if she says it's good because she's very picky. I'll be like, <coughs> yeah, she's picky. It so if like she juice. says it's like good, it. not sweet though. It's not sweet. No, it's like sour. It's like tart. I don't like sour. Okay. <laughs> yeah, warhead is sour. <laughs> yeah, Bitch, just, don't do my drink. Don't do me. <laughs> a warhead. A warhead. The fact literally that literally my to, saliva glands are, are raging. watering. <laughs> the fact that we used to suck on those at, as kids torture ourselves. A warhead. A war. A lemon one. Ooh! It's like mm-hmm. that is not a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are literally like whatever, but yeah. my drink is not it's sour; so it's tart. It's so good. It is a mint cucumber blueberry vodka drink, and <laughs> I will put the recipe on our the, Instagram. Yeah, on our Instagram. Put it on our Instagram. Put, yeah, we'll put on the stories for y'all. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, okay so sorry we go off on a tangent, but what were we even talking? What were what was I talking about before that? We were just oh, we hip hop. Yeah, I don't listen to so anyway. Yeah, I don't really listen to like female rappers like that, but I love Amretta. Yeah, she's cool. She's not That's lying. how I feel about Koi Larae. She is my you favorite. You love her. I love her. I love I feel like I'm her. falling in love with her, but like I don't I won't listen to her music, but I like yeah, her. Yeah, I've loved her since the beginning. Yeah. She is like when she say trendsetter, she means that. She is unapologetically herself. Her. She's and, unapologetic. And you to I like that. that. Yeah. I just like it. Be yourself. She's not hurting nobody. She's, she's not. not bullying nobody. She's not being mean. She's not like She's so nice. So nice. She's just like I'm me. I'm me. And she's so little and cute. Except me. That's your favorite female rapper right now? Right now. Amaretta. Koi Ray. Amaretta? Oh, sorry. I like Amaretta. Yeah. You like Co- we, bo- we, we like both like of them. Everybody. We like everybody. Fuck. Them. Yeah. Robbie canceled. No. She's you know saying, what? You know, like who, you know who I actually, I was proud of myself because I saw that Lotto came out with a new album. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, okay, like. Let me listen to we it. We have a podcast now. So <laughs> let, let me be responsible <laughs> and do my research and like. And I actually enjoyed it a little bit. Good. I didn't get through the whole Come album. On a little bit. You're I so said, cute. <laughs> then that, y'all, that is not shade. Y'all. No, I did. Because that's really, not my ooh, type shit. of music, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. And and you know why I enjoyed it? Because I, I actually, she went on a press run recently, mm-hmm. so I just started watching all her, her interviews. interviews and, stuff. and that's what connects me to an artist. The artist. When I watch. I love watching interviews. I love documentaries. I love yeah. interviews. Like, that's my that's thing. That's what connected me to Kanye. Yeah, you didn't like, you weren't really a Kanye yeah. fan like I was. No, you always loved him. I'm like, yeah, he cool, like he's dope. Like, yeah, he's, we met this nigga on New Year's, and Megan was like, <laughs> <laughs> Megan was like, that's Kanye. That's Kanye. He looked at me. He was like, I like your eyebrows. I was like, thanks, bro. Like, <laughs> I was Megan like, was like, like, bitch. Do you- <laughs> I was, what about my eyebrows? I was, like, what, I was like, I took a knife and was like. <laughs> 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 he was like, <laughs> I was like, do you like that? But Megan was like, I knew she was like, we oh my never God. get starstruck. I but never. We don't give a fuck. Ever. We're around Kanye? everybody all the time. But Megan, I was like, she's like nervous. I, I was like. He just walked by. And I was hold like, on, oh, hold on. My heart was like. <laughs> but when I saw his documentary, I was like. Wow. You call, She called me and she was like, I get it now. I get it. She's like, I get I why like, you're like, get obsessed it. with him. I, I get, get it. it. But you already got it. You didn't need to see the documentary to get it. Yeah. I just love that he's unapologetically him. And yeah. I feel like, he's like that's how you like yeah. Coyle Ray. Yeah. Like, I feel like 
he's and not that I agree with like every single decision that he makes and whatever, but like I love the I'm sorry. I'm so I'm wow. S- apologize. So what would you suggest me do? I mean, you could have you know, like, like we have several cameras that could have not like, like they would have never known. No. Oh, I'm a lady. <laughs> Oh, clutch my pearls. I don't poot and I don't pass gas. Not for these young men around. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I just farted. Y'all might want to move on out the room. That's me, unapologetically. <laughs> Niggas it's really be white girls and be like, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> bitch, you got the wrong bitch, okay? That is not be Simone. <laughs> that is not me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I don't. <laughs> After all that, excuse me. <laughs> okay, we didn't even get. Can we intro the pod? We didn't even intro the pod. Who are we? Who are we? <laughs> They're like, what? Are you, who are these bitches on my screen? <laughs> Bitch burping. Woo. Concentration. <laughs> Elimination. <laughs> what were you saying? I don't remember. Anyway, I love Kanye. That's all. That's I love Kanye. Are you gassy today? I'm so gassy. <laughs> if anybody asks me. <laughs> I'm actually not I'm gassy so today. Gassy. <laughs> if I'm so glad you asked me. me. <laughs> 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 like, bitch. I'm glad. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking because I want to know, bitch. I'm trying to ask so you can get the fuck up out my face with it. <sighs> We're still learning this podcast <laughs> thing, you guys. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> If you are not watching and you're listening, please go to the YouTube and see the visual. Okay. Um, Are you good? Welcome back. (laughs) Welcome back to the fucking Know For Sure podcast. Jeez Louise. All right. Okay, so you guys know that we start every episode with our skin deep. No. The and. and Mm -hmm. It's called the and by skin deep. Mm -hmm. And we have several editions. This one is the stranger editions. And we're not strangers, but... It's almost interesting to ask questions. Because, like, have you ever been so, like, wrapped up in a relationship that your connection just kind of carries you away and you don't know the basic things? Mm. Like, your favorite color. Little things. Little things. Simple like, things. You know kind of that deep connection, but you don't know, like, like what your parents' names. Yeah. Your, your last name, your middle name. Crazy. Your favorite color. Like, little That's things crazy. like that. So, it's cool to do is the stranger. Is your dad's Chris? My dad's name is Chris. Okay. Whew. But his real name is Charles. Did you know that? Never. They call him Chuck. <laughs> knew that. Okay. I feel you like I knew Chuck. Chuck yeah. And mom's Chris, name is Yvette. My mom's name is Yvette. You don't know my mom's name. Yes, I do. What? Fuck. That's wild. Do you no, see? No, I do know your mom's name. Do but you? It's like I don't no, say it. Saying, all, I don't say it that yeah, often. And I've I'm never not that met close to my mom. I don't. I've never, never met, met her mom. mom I'm not in saying person. she should know it, but I'm saying that it's wild to That's, think about. Yeah, it's like we've been friends for 20 years, and I don't just know it off the top of my head. Or like, do you know my granny's name? Granny? No, I just say Shirley. Granny. Okay, I do you know knew that. that. I do. Shirley, I didn't know yeah. that. And Wesley. But is see, your dad. little stuff like that just connects you. Well, to I know person. Wesley, and Wesley. I know that side of the family. Yeah. Like I know all those yeah. that side. But I yeah, because I never yeah. met. I so I just met Granny face to face. That's crazy. After all those years, crazy. Just a couple years ago, crazy. Or last year. So, so yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, but anyway, these are good. This is a good little. Icebreaker. Even if you're not, even if you've known each other for a long time, the stranger edition is still cool because they ask questions that you typically mm-hmm. wouldn't. So I'm and gonna, I always do these my little new boos. I love doing this with like guys you're talking to, for real. Because it's so like, we were literally, <laughs> we were literally just somewhere, and a guy came to see her, oh and she's God. like, before I get on the flight, she's like, you wouldn't happen to bring the skin deep cards, like, did you? I'm like, because no. he asked me, he was like, did you bring the cards? We we said we was gonna do it in person, and I forgot them. But why would I have I'm sorry, it? sorry, babe. Just in case you have these in your purse. Okay. So I pulled some, and then I'll let you okay. pick a random card. So we always start with the cards, and we're doing the Strangers Edition. Stranger but we're not edition. strangers, obviously. <clears throat> okay. How do you define success? 
Mm. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I know my answer. Go ahead. I'll let you do first. Success to me has changed as I've matured and grown, but mm-hmm. now success to me is, that's my thing. I'm on it right now, internal and eternal peace. peace. Yeah. No matter the situation. And I learned a lot of that from you. Like, a homeless person can be under a bridge and have peace. peace. And a rich billionaire could be in their mansion committing suicide. Like, it doesn't matter the <clears throat> tangible things you have. Of course, the money, the cars, the the jewelry. This is just the cherry on top. This yeah. is not what I'm yearning for yeah. in life. Yeah. This is just a little dessert, a mm-hmm. little extra, a little mm-hmm. seconds, whatever. Mm-hmm. But the real definition of success is having internal and eternal peace. Yeah. Having peace forever. In any situation you're in, you just have peace about it. Yeah. And I feel like I'm moving. Like, like even with my breakup, I'm like... It's sad, but I'm I actually it's a calmness over yeah. me. I'm not raging and I'm not upset and every little thing doesn't Yeah, I don't think I ever even saw you mad. Crazy. Like I never I wasn't saw even you even angry at him. Yeah. I was never angry. <clears throat> I was hurt. I don't think I ever saw you be yeah. angry about it. I saw you be sad about it a yeah. lot. Yeah. But I think that you knew I think that you went into the relationship knowing that if it wasn't for me, it wasn't for me. Absolutely. At least I tried. Absolutely. And, and I th- did and I did it. Yep with truth and I did it wholeheartedly and like I didn't hold back. 100%. I didn't like, 100%. and I feel like, so it gave you peace to be like, you know what? I did my part. I did, I did my part. Yep. And like if whatever he chooses, yep. he made that decision and yep. I can't, yep. I can't like be, put myself in a negative space. Yep. Because of his choices. Because of a choice that he made. Yep. I can be sad and I think you gave yourself time to be sad yeah. but then you were just like. Man. Yeah, I'm so grateful for that. Like, my thing is peace now. Like, how do you define success for me? It is internal and eternal peace. Peace in every situation. Yeah. And no matter if it's good, you're going to have good days, bad days. You're going to have problems. You're going to have disasters. Problems are a part of life. They're never mm-hmm. going to stop. Mm-hmm. You're going to have whatever, but having a peace about it. <clears throat> you know, knowing it's going to be okay, and it's a calmness to that. Like, yeah, I just love that feeling. I- I 100% agree with that, and I'll, but because I agree, I'll offer a different side. Okay. Um, I feel like success in the sense of, like, let's say, like, what you do with your life, like your job gotcha. or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say that, yeah. I would say is when you are, get to a place where you know your purpose mm, and, mm, and mm, that mm, alignment mm, mm. of your life, like you align the things that you love with your purpose and you're doing that. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's really the real Absolutely. success because Absolutely. you talk about this in your stand up. you talk about people, you made the nine to five comment Yep. and you said, um, you got canceled for it yep. because they, you basically was like, I'm not dating a guy from nine to five. Yep. And, and you went through like a really hard time in the press mm-hmm. about that mm-hmm. social media and blogs mm-hmm. and all mm-hmm. that stuff, like kind of, were upset with you. People were upset with you. Women, yeah. men, yeah, it's everybody. Yeah, were, were and then you talked about you talk about it now in your stand up set, and you talk about like I can't date somebody who's scared to walk in their purpose and scared to step out on faith. And I believe that that's people who have nine to five, and I also believe that that's people who have Fortune five hundred companies. Absolutely, and they're and they absolutely. do it because they're naturally maybe you're naturally smart at business and you're naturally smart at. You know, it comes natural for you Absolutely. to be, like, a business person or whatever, but that's really not fulfilling, fulfilling. You. you. just happen to be good at it. Wow. So it works both ways. You could be a person sitting at a desk at a 9 to 5 making minimum wage, and she could be talking to you, but she can also be talking to a man that makes millions of dollars, and he's still not, not walking, walking in, in his, his purpose. purpose. And doing what and God created what him to do. And that's what is success for me. Like, when you find your purpose and you figure out a way to Jesus do that in the yeah. world and, pre- and it, you know, present that yeah. gift in the world and you are able to obtain monetary gain from that maybe. Great. But yeah. it's like really about finding what you really... What fulfills are, you. Yeah, and what you were sent here to do. Like Man. what's your service to humanity? Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, like and I really do feel yeah. like that's bigger. That's the real success. Yeah. It's like when you find what your service is to humanity. To humanity. Wow. For me at okay. least. So. I like that. <clears throat> and even with the nine to five comment thing, if you're happy at your nine to five, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. It, it wasn't about what is it, a job. Uh, Eat the meat, spit out the, the dick. Bugs. Oh. What? I was going to say, suck the dick, spit out the cum. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. It was, it was the same. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. It's the same thing. If you suck a dick, if you eat meat, I don't eat meat. 
I'm vegetarian, so I have to suck the dick and spit out the cum. <laughs> she said, eat the meat, spit out the bones. All I'm saying is, take what you get, take what I'm giving you, and but spit out the pieces that ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. It. <laughs> For me, it's the dick and the cum. For you, it might be the meat and the bones. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it register in these holes of mine. Because it might be a hole watching. And you might need that analogy. <laughs> Suck the dick. Spit out the cum. And if you're a carnivore, eat the meat. <laughs> spit out the bones. And if you're pescatarian, <laughs> eat the salmon. <laughs> and spit out the little bones that begin stuck in the back of your throat. It's like, this filet got bones in it? I can't do this. Whatever the saying is. If there's anyone who wants to be her co-host, <laughs> I don't think I'm cut out for this. I cannot do this. I won't I won't do it. <laughs> Y'all see, my drink is almost gone. She said, suck <laughs> the dick, spit out the cum. I meant to say, eat the meat, spit out the bones. And what's crazy is, is that you be, you could have came up with a better analogy than that. You know there are 15, 16-year-old okay. girls I'm that so are listening sorry. that do don't need to be sex. sucking dick. You don't. At I all. shouldn't even be doing it at 32. It's not, the ones I'm sucking. It's not. It, Y'all don't need to do that, okay? So I haven't sucked one in nine months. Eat what, no, the that, chicken wing and spit out the bone. I sucked it two months ago. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I don't want to lie on this show. Well, it's not a lie if you don't bring it up. It was a <laughs> <laughs> You brought it up. I didn't have to say that. You didn't have to say it. Well, I, first I said I haven't sucked dick in nine months. And I was like, Again, That's, you didn't have to say it. I, it came out, so I had to reiterate. That's fine. It's been about six weeks. Okay. I can't believe I did that. You did. You tried to play it off like you didn't do it. <laughs> she tried to play it off like you did. Oh, he just. I was like, why well, just gave you a little sucky? Well, I didn't do it to him. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't even know what we're talking about, but. How do you define success? Not sucking dick. Stay celibate. That, that is successful. That's success. Wow. You were celibate for nine months, right? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, technically, so you're still prior celibate. Prior to my ex, it was two years. No, it wasn't. No, it was. <laughs> no, it was. Before 2019 was my whole year. And you met him in 2020, Brandon. Braylon. Right. Prior, before him, I had been. I hadn't had sex for two years. Not the two years before I met him, but I have been abstinent for two years before. At one point in time. Correct. Okay. <laughs> you made it seem like before your ex. Okay, girl. <laughs> Damn. No. That is not a <laughs> I'm going to say that anytime I don't agree. That is <laughs> not a <laughs> I have been, I have had, you I have had been a celibate before. One time before. In your life. For two, for two years. years. Amen. I'm proud of you. And that was, what, 2016, 17? Wow. I just know 2019, you were. Ooh, I was out here, baby. I was like, what's up? She was nucking and bucking. And we nucking and bucking and ready to fight. I'm ready to suck on that dick and spit out the... Braylon. Y'all can't do that. Now. I'm doing too much. Yes. Yeah, like... Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's so inappropriate. Everybody done sucked a little dick. Everybody? Everybody, <laughs> not every. See, that's how. See, that's how everybody. Get see, see, you gotta be how, careful what you say. That's how everybody, get canceled. everybody don't say. Oh, everybody! Oh, wow, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm doing too much. You know, what? I'm gonna stop cussing. No, you're not. I'm gonna try. No, you're not. <laughs> you know me, girl. <laughs> I tried to high five her. She did not slap my hand for all the listeners that are not on YouTube. <laughs> if you're listening, if you're this. not watching the visual, I just put up my hand and she did not high five me. All right, it's hot in this bitch. You feel hot? I feel good. Maybe because I don't have, I don't have it on a shirt or anything. Um, does that fit? No. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't fit. She's talking about my bra. My titties are bulging out. Do y'all see Just this? push, do the cuff over thing on the, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like, wait. That's crazy. Wait, do my close up. Do the one, th that sound see, on TikTok. That's, I'm was scared like, to do it with my hair like this. What? <clears throat> do it. Do what? 
it, Megan. Sex? <laughs> well, say it. You a grown ass woman talking about it. Billy. You talking about eat, eat, suck the dick, spit out the gum, but saying it. What? Do what? Have sex? Yes. Why? Because with long hair, you could swing it. With short hair, it's like. <laughs> Nigga, That's when you gotta just utilize other body parts, like a choke or a, you know. That's not what this episode is about. Dominatrix. Ooh, that look good. Do that again. No, she is a married woman. Don't even have no ideas. Please, sliding her DM, sweetie. Sliding mine. <laughs> <laughs> Slipping and sliding, like we had a motherfucking water park. Please. <laughs> you haven't gotten any like girl. I'll okay. be in there. Who is this random person? You don't have to say his name if you don't want. <laughs> I'm going to show you him, girl. It's ridiculous. But if he's being persistent. Okay, so she has no. this guy that she, that's, like, persistent in her DMs. And she's like. Let me read y'all these messages. My homeboy was like, you so mean to him. I would have been called you all types of bitches and hoes. But I was like, Damn. he's not saying anything. <laughs> but he's trying to, and you keep cutting him off. Megan. Oh, I restricted him. I ain't got him. no, I I ain't dang, got no I blocked the- him. You blocked him already? I restricted him. From, I can't find his messages. From sending you a message? Yes. It's that bad? Is, is he ugly? He's... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> is he? No, he's not ugly. He's just, what, not attractive? He's annoying. Because he wants you. But no, he's annoying because he has nothing to talk about. I can tell his intellect. Mm, how? By the conversation that's in my DM. Let me see. W I D every two days. Oh, what are you doing? What are you W I D. What W I D. W I D. It's like, <laughs> what are you Sir, asking? If you have nothing else to say, but what are you doing every forty eight hours? Enough is enough, baby. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Okay, so how does a man need to come to you? Like, if if a guy slides in your DMs, what does that look like? Boom. Oh my God. Boom. Here we go. Nighttime, nine p.m. On the couch, me and Uno. What's up? <laughs> no, I'm for real. Uno. But boom, this dude slid in my DM recently. And he actually was so dope the way he did it. I gave him my number. We started texting. I said, wow, how old are you? He said, 21. I said, have Damn. a nice life. No, for sure, have a nice life. But the way he, he got But it be recently, the young ones, man. It's the, like, I get it now. He, he didn't ask for my number. It wasn't, like, he came in, like, I think he sent me a picture of myself or something. He was like, hi, my name is. Love that. Da, 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 da. Love he like, that. you look so beautiful. Ne- maybe day later, next day, next day, whatever. Hi, hope you have a great day. Just, you were, th- I was thinking about you. Oh, I wow. Came up, literally, in my DMs. But like because he's 21, you're like, I can't. And it got to the point where I was like, you, I just love the way you communicate. Like, yeah. he was like, well, what's your number? And I didn't text him. We kept DMing. He never said, like, text me. He was never, he was Aggressive just very about polite. Yeah. You could tell, you know, he, he, he's real sweet. I finally text him. I said, well, how old are you? 21. I said, have a great life. Why? 21, Megan. But if he's be if he's doing what these men that are 30. 40 and, ain't doing, seriously. I'm just saying. 21? I'm going to show you the DMs. If a guy, okay, so let me ask you this. If a man is younger than you, is coming with the right energy, meets the qualifications, You're meets right. the non-negotiables. You're right. Does that mean that you can't because he's 21? 21? I know. I almost feel like, oof. That's a baby to me. <sighs> We're 32. You're about to be 32. Jesus. 21? That's over 10 I years. I can find his DM. But I mean, look. We look good for 32. So. We do. It's hot in the beach. I've seen some of y'all 21-year-olds. And let me tell you. Let me tell y'all you look something. like y'all had a rough. Sweetie. Rough life. Sweetie. Rough. Is that him? No, girl. That's my other nigga. Who? Concentration. <laughs> <laughs> What's the letter start with? Um, a, B, C, D, E, A, G, H, I, J. Mm-hmm. K and the mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> The saga between you two is it is wild, ridiculous. wild, it's ridiculous. But you love it. I don't know why do I, why do you think I like that? So chase. tell them what tell them like the scenario okay, so with she, me and this guy. She has a guy that she that she likes and he likes her, but the timing is just never right with the two of them. And I we know like, we'll never be together. Yeah, I think that they both know. Well, I don't know if it's a never be together, we'll but it's like if it together. happens, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of work. Hmm. I think you guys enjoy playing with each other. Yeah, both of you. Yeah, I think he enjoys it. I think you enjoy it. I think that you guys both know that if y'all were to ever be a thing or be public, it would 
be too it's much. Fucking chaos. There's no to, way I would ever go public with him. Yeah, it would be too much for anybody yeah. to handle. But y'all but just, just play fun. around with each other. It's and that flirting. Just, We've never been intimate. What was intimate? Oh, we have been intimate. We've never had sex. Never had sex because you We've guys never have. had sex. <laughs> <laughs> you were know. there. You remember I that night? wasn't there. Yeah, don't I mean, you put me. You yeah, were don't there. put me in the room. You were in the car next door. You were actually in the room. I wasn't in the room. Okay, we stepped out the room. And we made out. You're making this something that it wasn't. <laughs> I was at a dinner minding my business. <laughs> they stepped out of a dinner into a hallway and they had their moment. Ooh, I was This one I had dinner. here. He put my ponytail. I said, concentration. <laughs> Elimination. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm. I just think he needs to grow up a little bit. He needs to grow the fuck up. I will never. But you need to grow up too and stop playing with him. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Don't don't tell me what I need. Don't do, do me. Okay, you see, that's why you too. need real relationships. You need a friend that's gonna tell you because she playing. She be playing. I just literally like flirting with him. I be, love be, flirting I with him. I literally. I was don't. like, send a jet. He was like, he ain't send it. Hey, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> playing around. Uh, Cause he know. He knows. She I'm be not getting so. Him. The thing is, is like, be be getting so worked up about. The guy that she's currently talking to. When I say currently, I mean like that day in that moment. I know. And I'm like, you don't so care about this man. <laughs> like, you know, tomorrow is going to be another guy. You don't care Megan about be him. like, you're not going to like him in a week. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. I'm trying my hardest to have unconditional love. For who? People that I like. Why? For a guy? No, like VA Bay. Like, I can't just be like, I don't like him anymore. Like, no, that's my friend. We're friends. Okay. We're friends. Right. <laughs> and he made me mad. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Okay, so what I, you know me, I get in my geek bag. What are you about to say? No, it was just something that I observed this week that I felt like it was an important conversation. Oh, I'll say it. So, you know, I get in my geek bag mm-hmm. and I... You know, I sometimes binge watch CNN and mm-hmm. MSNBC, and <clears throat> I'll even, you know, go over to Fox News, not because I agree with anything, it's just, you know, to see what's out there. I like to see all perspectives and hear yeah. all perspectives. Yeah. Before we move on, we're going to take a break. A quick break. A quick little breaky breaky. We have a surprise for y'all. You guys, you know what it is. It is the KFS. Fam, we're giving you guys 20% off the Be Simone Beauty site. 20% off everything, excluding bundles. <laughs> excluding the bundles, so don't get overzealous, okay? Go to BeSimoneBeauty.com and use the code KFS20, all caps, that's K as in no, F as in four, S as in sure, two, zero. KFS20, all caps, and get 20% off your Be Simone Beauty. <laughs> no, for sure. No, for sure. 100%. Okay, so... I was watching the confirmation of Judge Kantaji Brown Jackson. And, and please forgive us. If, if I said her name wrong, I, I'm we, so yeah. sorry. I was trying to say it my best. But um, sometimes I get, like, I'm interested in politics yeah, in the yeah, sense yeah. of, like, the knowledge of it and mm-hmm. just how, like, effed up everything is. Mm-hmm. It interests me. But anyway, you know, I get into that, like, bag where mm-hmm. I'll obsess over something and I'll watch it and whatever. But I was watching the confirmation for her, and I just... I looked at, there was a um, post that somebody posted, and it was showing all of her qualifications versus all the other judges that have been confirmed to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And she was way, like, she checked every box. Mm -hmm. And other people Mm -hmm. had some boxes missing. And then I watched her as she sat there and was questioned from both both sides of the political Mm -hmm. spectrum, you know, Republicans and Democrats, right? Mm -hmm. But it just... The way certain people, congressmen, certain congressmen came at her, I was just like, the idea that you can check every mark. Every mark. Every mark. And they will still find a way to disqualify you as a black woman. And to make you feel like you're not enough. Like, the idea of that. You feel like that's in every aspect of life? I, I I feel like black women are not considered enough and i don't feel like we we have to do the most work Mm -hmm. i feel like Mm -hmm. and now granted i'm a black woman so that is my 
perspective. That's, That's your my experience. experience. I'm not a black man, so I don't know what a black man's experience is. I've been married to a black man. I'm raising black men. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I kind of have a vantage point to see, but I don't know that experience. I don't know what it's like to be a man. So outside of politics, give me an example of that. Like when you well, say even black like well, even like when Nicki Minaj did an interview with Joe Button and she expressed like how she wasn't on Vogue, but she was a trendsetter. Mm, you know what I'm saying? It's mm. like, but they'll quickly put Kim on Vogue yeah. or something. I know it took Kim yeah. a while. I'm not trying to like discredit her journey or whatever, yeah. but like yeah. how you know we're just considered last. last. Do you feel that way In as a black woman? Or, or, do you have you ever experienced that? I don't think not? I've ever experienced that to a point where I can like pinpoint or remember. But mm -hmm. I feel like overall, in 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 culture, yes. Like even I mean, for example, obvious. you're on a you're on a comedy tour, right? Okay, you're the only female on that comedy tour. Yeah, and it's optional if you're there or not. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not a priority to make sure we have a black female. Comic we have to have on a, yeah, every yeah, yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. If we get yeah. her, we get her. And you think that's because I'm a woman? I believe so. Got you. I believe so. But, okay. Yeah. You're on a you're yeah. on a comedy yeah. tour with all men. Yeah. Do you the know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, do you think yeah. that there would be a comedy? Do you think I, I've never seen it? But is there a comedy tour where there's mostly women and one and man? one guy? No. Or two if it's, men. Or if it's a ladies' night or something, it's all women. It's ladies. It's like ladies. it has. Yeah, like yeah, if yeah. it's for us, it has to be specifically for us. It can't just. We can't just be considered. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we're either yeah. gonna pander to black women. Yeah. Or we don't consider them at all. Yeah. 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 And yeah, like yeah. I guess for me, it's just like watching that confirmation hearing, watching how she. This is a black woman who has. She went to Harvard. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. She's qualified. She's qualified. She's smart. She's and educated. Not, and I get it. Like, the process is the process. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But it's just like, damn, like, not even she can escape. Is good enough. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. Idea of that we just have to do more. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe, you know, I'm going through my own experience of womanhood and mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. my own thing and mm -hmm. starting my own, you know, Mm -hmm. venture into entrepreneurship mm -hmm. so I can feel the I don't know I guess I just see it in a lot of scenarios from that perspective yeah yeah I think I mean even with like you said have you ever experienced that or I don't even know if this is a valid point but like what you said about the comedy tour I've never even thought about that yeah like maybe I just need to open up my eyes a little more because even that now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like maybe that is true yeah but I've never even thought about it. I'm just like, oh, I'm just not on this show, or yeah. I'm not, or it just goes over my head. Okay, or the okay. veil is over my, you know. So for like, example, if we take our podcast on the tour, right? We're not specifically talking about like our podcast isn't specific to any one topic. We don't talk about sex only. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about pop culture only. We don't talk about, you know, anything specific. Mm -hmm. We're just talking about kind of relationships, and we're not. You know, we're just normal. Mm -hmm. You know, we have normal conversations, right? We're not like at a specific thing. Topic. Topic. Yeah. But like, it would be harder for us to, like, I I look at the eighty five South show, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. I love we love those guys. Mm -hmm. Like, we admire them. Mm -hmm. We look to them. They are like mentors to us. Yeah. Especially like in this podcast game, like they're mentors to us. They're family. But like, it's they can go out there. And yes, they're talented, mm -hmm. but they can go out there and just be them. Yeah. And that's super yeah, accepted. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if like women have the same if they response. would let us do that well i just don't know if a bunch of women like you know how their shows are like sold out yeah. all the time yeah like anywhere they yeah. go they have multiple times yeah. and shows and whatever but like do you think that if we just got up there and just kicked the shit a bunch of women w without having to be cute or you yes know? i do i don't i do and maybe it's because i've experienced if we were if we were natural, we didn't wear any makeup, you didn't have your jewelry, we wasn't fly, we weren't that attractive. Yeah. And we had the same conversation, would we get the same response? I feel like yes. I feel like we wouldn't. That's crazy, but maybe I'm saying that because I've gotten a great response doing that in my comedy world. But this isn't comedy. Right. But I have built my platform on doing that. Yeah. On being myself. I feel like the world is more open to 
But have you showed both sides, though? You're right. I'm not You've only never that. been only. only you're That's right. That's what I'm saying. You're right. I've never so been we, only we that. Have to, you're right. We have to kind of be a don't little be bit too, of everything. D- don't be too be, casual, but you got to be, be too yeah, sexy because yeah. you want people to yeah. risk. Like when we go on tour, like we try to be very aware of yeah. how we present ourselves. Yeah. We're not, we're trying to be, we want to be attractive, but not don't too. Don't have your shirt. Your, like I would never wear this on tour. Wow. Do you see what I'm saying? Wow. Because it's like we have to be Like I would never walk into Martin's dressing room. Like, thank you so much for the opportunity with this bra on. I just wouldn't. That's wild. I'm just saying, like, I feel like we have to consider a lot. A lot. To be looked at in a way that we already deserve to be looked looked at at regardless. regardless. Got you. I feel like we have to put in a lot of work. I have to, you know... I think, like, now I don't care, but I remember there was a time where I'm like, if I wear braids, does that look too... Ethnic. Ethnic. Mm-hmm. At my son's all-white school. Mm-hmm. With all the white moms from the baseball team. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, if I wear my J's and sweatpants, do I look too... Urban. You know, I, do I, I don't know. And maybe that's not even a thing to think about, but I, but mean, I think that, about no, that. If that's your experience and those are your thoughts, those are your thoughts and your experiences as a black woman. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I just feel like black women just have to do a lot to yeah. be to be respected, I yeah. feel like. And I watched that confirmation here and I'm just like, damn, like she's overqualified. Yeah. And yet she's still yeah. being ridiculed. And she was being ridiculed off of something that mainly eighty percent of other judges do the same thing. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Whatever. But <laughs> I just <laughs> I'm pissed. Shout out to Judge. Kataji Brown Jackson, yeah. like you are a black woman, you are a hero, yeah. and you yeah. are tr- like you, you made history, and legacy. we respect that. Yeah, yeah. legacy. Yeah. So. Comment on this will be on our Instagram, obviously, so y'all can put in the comments what y'all think about this topic. Yeah, and maybe I'm wrong, and we'll revisit it, and maybe I'm like, maybe I'm tripping, but I mean, you're that, not like, wrong. That's how I feel. How, you're not wrong for how you feel. Yeah. Always remember that, y'all. You're not wrong for how you feel. If it's how you feel. It's how you feel. Yeah. And You're you get wrong. to decide what to do with how you feel. My eye is twitching. What does that mean? It's been Stress. twitching. For, really? Mm-hmm. Or lack of rest? Stress. Hmm. My drink's almost gone. We can get another one. Top me off. <laughs> okay, so we're going to end this podcast like we do with every podcast. What do you know for sure and what are you saying no, no to, to for, sure. for sure? So after this podcast, what I know for sure is I'm trying to navigate how I feel about what does it mean to be looked at like how I feel I'm I'm perceived or seen as a black woman and does it matter to me Mm -hmm. or should I care and what I know for sure is maybe that I need to open up my mind and my eyes to more um I don't feel like my hand is very involved in um topics like that yeah I don't feel like it you know, I have a lot to say about it. I don't feel like I have a lot of knowledge about it. I don't feel like, like even with what she's talking about with the CNN, the politics, I, I didn't watch it. I'm not, I, I'm yeah. not, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like what I know for sure is that I should probably, you know, walking into more of a mature woman. At the end of the day, I'm a black woman. Mm-hmm. Like you said, taking the veil off and noticing different And I think when you and, do that, you're able to see it so that you can afford opportunities to other people. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, or to change it. You or, can't change yeah, something that you don't see that the, you, if there's an issue with. Yes. Of course, I see, <clears throat> I understand the issues. But I'm saying, like, even the little example you gave. I'm like, mm, I didn't, yeah. don't bother me. I don't right, care. Right. Like, da, 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 right. Da, 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 you know. But also, you guys, I also feel like, um, not with this topic, but there's so many things. Like, even for you guys out there, everything does not have to be your fight. Yes. Everything does not it's, have to. LGBT, not. Black Lives Matter. I get it. I get it. But, like, if if this is your focus, it goes back to purpose. If this is your focus and this is your walk and this is how you make your benefit, mm-hmm. your your um change to humanity. Yeah. There's a million things that we need to fix in this world. Yeah. If these, if this is your thing, focus on that. Yeah. You know, and, and, and just because you're focused on one thing doesn't mean that you don't care about another or that other thing isn't important. Isn't important. It's just like 100%. this is where I am at. hundred percent. Like I, I, I'm totally into politics. I'm not going on any type of campaign. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. But I'm into it. I care about it. But right. I'm not gonna like. 
you know, that's not where I'm at. That's not aligning with my purpose in the sense of like right. doing something. I'm not going into politics. Right. You know what right. I mean? I'm not about to become a judge because I believe it's fucked up. Right. 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 I, but yeah. but I, I do feel like um it would be good for me as a black woman to to be more knowledgeable on the issues we face as black women and as a race in general. Yeah. You know, and because people listen to you and the way that 100%. Like, the way that you're able to communicate something like CNN is going to reach the same demographic you're going to reach. But but that girl that may want to be a judge one me. day, she's yeah. going to hear something yeah. in the way you deliver it. And maybe she's like, you know what, like that inspired me because I really love law. And that inspired me to do right. X, Y, and Z because 100%. I heard B. Simone talk about 100%. it. Whatever. And I understand her language. I don't understand mm. this language. Thank 100%. you. 100%. So, 100%. So that's what I know for sure. Yeah. And what are we saying no to? What am I saying no to for sure? No. Um, what is Whatever's causing you to be gassy, no. you need to say no to that. Well, I don't know. Well, you need to find that out. Well, how do I do that? Write down what you eat. I don't how, on a scale of 1 to 10, how gassy was I today? I was a 9. What did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> you need to figure it that out. That is wild. Because, like, today isn't a bad gassy day. Well, I can't tell. Really? I mean, belched in a few times. A few? And we've only been here an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I haven't belched once. So. Wow. That's interesting. That's not. Because you know why? It's interesting. Thing, the only it's thing just I've your had, gassy. The only thing I've had was your drink. <laughs> That's You're a liar. She's a liar. <laughs> She's a liar. So I didn't know. The only thing I was this mocktail. It's weird that I'm not bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I like that. Figure out what makes me gassy. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching this podcast, this episode. We love you guys. We're going to put the recipe of this gassy drink, I guess. Apparently it's gassy. It's gone. It was so good. On our Instagram. And let us know what you know for sure and what you're saying no, no to, to for, for sure. sure. We love you guys. Tune in next week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag KnowForSurePod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag KnowForSurePod on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. Keep it going. Go to the website KnowForSurePod.com and follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, KnowForSurePod. <laughs>